Hey guys, welcome back to another skateboard video. I've actually been having a little bit of an issue with this board. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but the last couple times I went riding, I've noticed that my range has decreased and I'm not getting that much uh, like power. I don't know what's something. Anyways, I'm thinking one of the uh, batteries maybe is off or the BMS, the balancers, or, or one of them is not working or something completely. So, but... Anyway, something's weird going on, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop these covers off, and we're going to look at the batteries and check it all out. Alright guys, so I took this first cover off, which is the one we modified with the switcher. Um, the switcher seems to be working fine. I had a few times where, for some reason, when I would switch it for to two-wheel drive, it would still stay on four-wheel drive for whatever reason. But it seems to be working fine overall. So I mean it should be rated for more than enough for what it has to do. So in any case, so we're gonna be uh, checking all these batteries here. So I'm gonna go get my multimeter and uh, see if all these batteries are good or not. Or they're close to each other. Alright guys, so I think I found the problem. Here we got 3.5. The rest of them actually been 4.0. Pretty good. And then we got this next one. Or this next one is like crazy high. 4.7 so um, definitely something went wrong somewhere and um, the only thing I'm thinking is maybe the BMS's yeah I don't really like the setup that I did here because it uses two separate BMS's combined together this is my first build when I did it not really happy about leaving it like this um, ultimately I think what's gonna happen is I have a good BMS in here that I'm gonna combine them all together the batteries and so one BMS will be enough um, the only thing I can do at this point get it back to working condition for now is I will charge this one up and then drain this one and drain this one so I think that's my issue but I'm gonna go ahead and open this side and make sure everything's good here alright guys so I checked all these batteries and they're literally perfect so these is this is the newer setup that I built here so you can tell it's a lot more fresh looking on this side than on this side. This is my first build that got kind of butchered in here and there and everywhere. I started looking at everything a little more and I noticed something pretty serious here guys. So look at this. This is one of the main power wires. And I guess the solder point broke loose somewhere. So what's ha what was happening was this bank right here was trying to power everything. Because the way I got it set up is both banks they share power so if one bank gives out for some reason this bank will try to power both of the controllers here and which is a huge strain on this on these batteries and that's that's what was happening and that's why I was like feeling like something was wrong and I'm only getting like four three to four miles out of it I was just confused what was going on is we completely lost that battery pack there because this cable uh, I guess I soldered it bad or maybe vibrations broke it loose it's probably what happened so um, I, I didn't put all this stuff together as good as I should because I'm prototyping once I start doing my real build I'm gonna do everything um, very well and I probably will not be using these holders either these holders are great for like just slapping things together but for a super solid connection I think I'm gonna have to get them welded together all these batteries so anyway so the good part is is that we know what happened here so I need to try to balance these three batteries out here with the rest of these. Alright guys, so unfortunately I have a much serious problem than I thought, or a bigger problem. Um, that is, these two batteries here are shot. And um, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I think the BMS failed on them. And this kind of explains the power loss also. So I'm not sure how exactly this all plays into all what happened, but I guess a few things happened. Thankfully, I did have extra batteries here, so I got exactly two extras that I got when I bought that new set there. Alright guys, so let's try to get this first battery out here. So obviously I'm probably going to damage the battery somewhat, especially the coating, because I'm sure it's not going to want to get out of there. Alright. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I was actually expecting a lot worse than that. Actually came out. Alright, let's see if our next one will come out just as easy. For some reason, I have a feeling this one's going to be a little harder. It's always like that. Okay, this one's a little more stubborn, but it's coming out. I think it might have a little bit more glue around it. Yeah. 
And that was the point actually for all uh, for these holders was because the idea of you know things going wrong and I'm gonna be able to swap out the bad batteries without having to redo everything. This one was glued on a lot harder. As you can see, it pulled out the uh, the coating on top of it. So. All right, guys. So <laughs> as I'm waiting for these batteries to charge. I was just pondering over this battery here that or the two batteries that went bad and uh, thinking about you know how this thing died and apparently most likely it died from overcharging is what I'm thinking not undercharging the reason why is because since the balancer didn't work I think this thing just went out of whack and overcharged and probably as it was charging it got too hot and it has a safety in it where it, it'll pop up a lid or a protection built in the battery that prevents it from overcharging and exploding because of, uh, as we know that when things overcharge especially batteries they blow up like they, they'll expand until they blow so there's a little plate underneath this top here that pops up and disconnects the battery from basically disconnects the power from the actual connector here so what I did is I did a little YouTube search yes yeah, so I realized that uh, you could try to revive this by pushing on that plate back down on it and uh, that's exactly what I did to this battery and it went right back to life and the funny part is guys is the voltage is exactly as all my other batteries in the board and let me show you what that is that's exactly how all those other batteries are exactly 4.0123 stuff like that so it's it's literally the same which kind of blows my mind what happened to it the only thing I can think of is it overcharged anyways this one is still dead so I'm thinking about uh, doing the same thing to this one obviously so I might just put these batteries right back in there uh, there's no sense in uh, putting these guys in there if these still work so I'm gonna just press into there um, the only danger about this is that it could spray out some gases. If there's like a is there's like a pretty large build in there of gas, like a pressure, it could spray out a little bit. So you so you want to point it away from you when you do this. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of push not super hard, but like you know relatively with some relatively good force all in all around into the holes there. So so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just kind of pushing on it, going in circles. All the way around. So as I push it here and there, I'm gonna keep checking it with my voltmeter. I think you have to push it a little harder. Another uh, key point that the uh, video made is that you might have to pull up on this a little bit on this piece. So I might do that with like some pliers, some needle nose pliers. You can do it just like this. Just be careful not to short anything out because the body is negative and this piece is positive. So. You don't want to short those two out. So. Anyway, so I'm just kind of like tugging on it here and there. That's the idea here. Is to try to pry it up just a little bit. Just kind of move it around. And then we're going to go back and keep on pushing on that plate down there. So hopefully we can get this thing going. We'll see you in a second. Alright guys, so I was pushing and pushing and pushing on this and um, actually the thing to note here is that um, it will uh, like a release a gas. So eventually as I kept pushing it around, it like released the gas. So like a little psh, nothing serious technically, it didn't spray anything, it was just like a release of air. And right when it released that pressure from the inside, um, it started working. So I can show you here right now that we have hold on one second we got exactly hold on, I'm trying to connect it, here we go exactly the voltage of all the batteries so these guys are back in action that's crazy so <laughs> anyways if this video uh, helps anything repairing and batteries this is definitely something that I think everybody should know especially in the electric skateboard world and DIYs especially because when you're dealing with batteries and you have the situation where the battery is just blank this is exactly your problem and I guess we will see if they can still perform like they used to 
and I'm pretty sure they can. I'm sure these batteries are still capable just like they were. Anyways, I'm very happy about this and put everything back together and we'll see how it does. Alright guys, so I put the batteries back in. Now all these batteries are exactly the same. Alright guys, so I soldered this connection up that fell off. I guess maybe I just had a bad solder, looks like. Anyways, everything is looking good and it looks like we're back to where we were. Now all I gotta do is put it back together. All right, and just like that, everything is back together. Like it was, so let's see if it all works. Look at that. Very nice. So I think I am back to normal now, which is awesome. Let's see, if we switch this down, we should just have rear wheel drive. Yes, we do. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, so we went into the board not knowing what we're going to find, but finding a loose wire over there was not the main of our problem. So I'm glad that I found that the batteries were shot, and mostly I'm glad that we figured out how to fix them. I think that is super cool. So this is actually the first problem I've had. Thankfully everything worked out and it wasn't too bad. Stuff like this happens when you do your own builds. You learn and then you improve. So honestly though, this, this board has been an amazing board to work on so far. And it's just been fun. You know, it's, it's one thing when you just buy a board and you ride it. Yeah, that's all great. But it feels so good to build your own and ride that. It's just a different kind of appreciation for this kind of technology and and what it can do. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know this video maybe wasn't so fun and it was mostly technical. On the next video, we'll definitely have something a little bit more interesting, hopefully. And if you made it this far and you liked the video, hit that like button. Check out my other videos on this board, how I built it from the ground up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button to stay notified for the next videos of this electric skateboard and other things and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.